James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is July 26, 2022, 1 30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Well, we've just had a 4.8 magnitude earthquake pop off right on the Cascadia subduction zone's breakpoint where the Juan de Fuca plate and the Pacific and North American plate all meet its northern boundary there off the coast of Canada. That 4.8 actually had an associated tsunami warning and we have it at the default depth of 10 kilometers currently. Now that is a rather large quake. We had a follow-up or subsequent earthquake south of that at 2.9 off the coast of Oregon. So we're seeing some action there. And then that's pushing over to the Cascadias as you can see the action here. Moving over to volcanoesandearthquakes.com, we actually see that there were at least two earthquakes there, not one, right at the northern border where all those plates meet. So we had a 4.8, and we also, well, see if we can get in there and grab it, also appeared to have a 3.0. Wow. So we had two quakes there and another one to the south here a 2.9. So we've seen some activity for sure on the Cascadia subduction zone. Let's get some more information about the bigger quake here, the 4.8. Some detailed information. Over to VolcanoDiscovery.com. They're calling it a moderate 4.8 magnitude earthquake. Not very strong in terms of earthquakes, but very strong in terms of where it occurred. 239 tons of TNT was released, or the equivalent of, and everyone came in at a 4.8. That would include Germany, the USGS, the Europeans, and Raspberry Shake. Let's bounce over to the Canadian Earthquake Center and see if they have any additional information. All right, over here at EarthquakesCanada.gov, we do see that they covered the 4.8, and... Uh, they actually have a depth on it of 30.9 kilometers. That did happen right where the Juan de Fuca, North American, and Pacific plates all meet, as we saw. Heading over to NOAA's National Buoy Data Center, we see no buoys in event mode anywhere near that area. Uh, we did have, again, an associated tsunami warning, so we thought we must check that. So, although the USGS is only reporting these two quakes, we saw that there was a third 3.0 right in the vicinity of this 4.8 magnitude earthquake. Three earthquakes, all associated with the Cascadia subduction zone, popping off. And again, we do see action on the Cascadia uh, ridge here. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.